the post saver. Today we're going to be taking a look at this magical little device and we're going to be testing it out to see how it goes on the post. How easy is it going to be to apply this post saver to a wooden treated 4x4? Let's do it. Noticing on the packet here, we have a pretty easy to follow picture. We've got a check mark that says to leave the post saver a couple inches above the ground level. And I believe the idea there is that typically that's where you see the post rotting is at ground level. That's where you're going to have more oxygen, water, the whole microbiome of all the organics in the soil eating away at the post. So that makes sense. And this is telling you not to bury it too deep and to leave some of this sticking up. And in fact, you can see pretty self-explanatory, a line that says ground line here with some grass. So for the DIY person, this looks like it should be pretty easy to install. I've never installed one, so we thought we would test it out and see what the installation process is like. The instructions say to use some sort of heat, whether it's a heat gun or maybe even a blow dryer, to apply heat to this once it's on the post to shrink it up next to the post, and we'll see how that goes. Let's go ahead and do it. So opening this thing up, you can see that it's got some tar-like material to help it stick to the post. And just a few minutes ago when we were inside in the shade, this was relatively easy to open. None of this stuff was heated up, but just even being out in the sun, it's already starting to activate. And uh, yeah, I could see how this might work. What I've done here is I've drawn a dotted line right at where two foot is, and that's for this demonstration will be where the ground level is. And then that will give us the line of where we're gonna be aiming to put this thing on. So let's go ahead and put it on and see how it goes. All right, a little bit messy, but fairly easy. Now it says to apply heat with some sort of a heat source. We have a heat gun we're gonna be using and we'll see if we can get this to shrink around the wooden post. And almost instantly you can tell that it's softening up and wanting to stick to the side of the post. All right, so now that we've applied some heat, you can tell that this post sleeve has done its job and sucked up against the wood. One thing to note, like I said earlier, it is a little bit on the messy side, and really that's not that big a deal for me, but if you're doing this at a customer's house, you might be a little conscious of what you're doing on the post that you're going to be seeing when you're done, the, the part of the post that's above ground. Uh, you might just be careful that you don't get that tar material where you can see it. Um, overall though, pretty easy application. And if it does what it claims to do, then it's actually a really cool product. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like us to bury this and show what that insulation process is like and what it does over time. If you're interested in that, let us know in the comments. Appreciate you guys stopping by for this quick tutorial and we'll catch you guys in the next one.